The 92nd Infantry Division and the city of Satsuma teaming up to host a Christmas dinner this Wednesday. It's called Last of the Foxhole Fighters. It's a reservation only event, uh, but we have two guests in the studio to talk more about why you should really be there and also how you can attend. I want to thank you guys both for stopping by. Please introduce yourselves for people watching at home. Okay, my name is Eddie Irby. I'm the president of the 92nd Division, Buffalo mm -hmm. Soldier, World War II. Mm -hmm. Bill Atkinson, Secretary of South Alabama Veterans Council, Vietnam Vet. Okay, and thank you guys both for your service. Merry Christmas early. Yes, Merry <laughs> So listen, a lot of work goes into putting on these types of dinners, and who are we trying to honor here? Well, we're trying to honor some guys who actually fought in Foxhole, which mm -hmm. is, Bill is one of them here. You know, it's, uh, they don't, we don't fight in Foxhole now. We even fight with cell phones, you know, at, even in a war. Mm. <laughs> but, but that's the time, and we want to basically hold on to that. You know, like I said, I brought you a program here, and one of the gentlemen that fought in the Foxhole that got shot 18 times, mm. we have, uh, this is Sergeant Major Benny Atkins. He'll be here 12 o'clock on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the guys, combat veterans of World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Now, walk us back in time. We have some younger viewers out there. What was a foxhole fighter? Well, yeah, a foxhole is you, you dig a hole in the ground and get down in it. Mm -hmm. And you just look out over and hopefully the enemy won't see you. Mm. Or if the enemy shoots at you, he'll hit the dirt instead of you. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, we didn't use foxholes as much in uh, Vietnam as they did in World War II in Korea. Well, we did have a few, but uh, now they don't even use foxholes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, in World War I, it was basically the trenches. You know, they yeah. fought in trenches mm -hmm. then. So, you know, it just evolved as we went along here. But these are the guys, you really got to think about a guy that's in a foxhole with a rifle. Right. And sometimes there were two of them in there. Sometimes the next morning, if a sniper got one, that's what happened to one of my classmates. Mm -hmm. Both of them went in the foxhole. They went to bed the next morning. He got up, his buddy was dead because the sniper had got him overnight. Mm. It was rather intense, I would imagine. Very intense. Yeah. Yeah. There was no, you know, you, during that time, especially during the Vietnam War, it was like, you ever seen one of these ant columns where mm -hmm. they, you, they're living? Well, that's where it was in Vietnam. These guys had whole cities on the ground. Mm. You know, in World War II, you fight in the foxhole, you kill somebody, you go to the next one, and, and you keep going. Mm -hmm. And so these are the kind of stories and, and also, you know, actions that we want to kind of remember and pay exactly, recognition exactly, to exactly. coming up. Talk a little bit about the event, where it's going to be. Well, it's, it's called Last of the Foxhole Fighters. Mm -hmm. It's 6 o'clock Wednesday at Steel Creek. Uh, we can only get uh, 200 people in there. Otherwise, we have a large event. So, But it's a prelude to what we want to do next year mm. because the thing was sold out three weeks after we announced it. And so, oh my goodness! And so, so it's you know, sold out. It's sold out. Yes. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, and people are still calling. As of this morning, I got a half dozen calls. People want to come and pay, mm -hmm. and we've told them if you don't have a ticket, you can't get in. We can't. I mean, it's 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 full already. But you'll let someone be your plus one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah we always. Yeah. We, yeah. We, it's like being in a war. Uh, you have one plus one. Yes. Yeah. Oh well. My goodness. I thank you guys so much for your service and your your stories as well. Um, listen, you you can't go this year, <laughs> but right. You're encouraged to mark your calendar for next year, and if you yeah. need help with planning, you would accept that as well. And come out. And, yes. And come mm -hmm. come out and take pictures. Wednesday at the at the okay. Hampton Inn at twelve o'clock. Mm -hmm. Benny Atkins, the gentleman who got shot eighteen times. Mm -hmm. He's going to be there. He's, he's going to arrive there. So if you want to come out, this public can come out and take pictures of history. A lot of history. Yes. It's important to remember as well. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen, both. Okay. And we're going to have this interview posted on Fox 10 uh, YouTube page. So look for it shortly and subscribe if you haven't already done so.